Tash and welcome back to my channel, Happy Artist. And welcome to all those new subscribers. I see there's about 70% of you who haven't subscribed to my channel yet but are watching my videos. Subscribe to the channel and you will become part of my future videos when you are asking questions or even inspiring me to do something else. This video I'm going to show you a few techniques, very easy beginner ones, on how to create flowers. Ooh, and there were some mistakes, I'm telling you, oh my word, so I had to shoot them a few times. the balloon, a swipe, and the dot techniques. And there are some very important tips that I'm going to share when it comes to each of these techniques so that you can get them right. You'll see I tried this two or three times, so I'm gonna speed through those ones quickly. Right, so the first one we're going to do, I have done a metallic gold background, like what you saw previously. I tried to do this as a swipe, but it wasn't working because the base color that I was using is an enamel paint. And when you use an enamel paint, it has properties in it that are gonna create cells. And I did not want that. But I thought I would give it a try because a lot of people are asking, what if they use house paint as their base paint because they've run out of acrylic? So I scraped two of those and now I'm going for just a proper full-on acrylic base color. When you are doing these dot pores, you need your consistency to be very, very high. So a level one. These are slightly thinner already, but I didn't mind that if they were going to be able to move a little bit. I was going for a lavender sort of look, but again, you've got to use that imagination a little bit. One we're going to do is the cellophane flower. Now this is probably one of my favorite ones. Your consistency needs to be on the lower levels, so you're looking at a level three or even a four. Reason is this is one of those where you actually want the paints to pull into each other and that's what creates those almost natural looking petals. So your base color is down. I have used my enamel house paint here because I'm hoping to create sun cells. So this is what happens, again, if you use house paint as a base paint. It is quite thick as well, so keep that in mind. You then just put down your colors in whatever formation you are wanting, how many petals, how many layers of different colors. I'm just sticking to the purple and the pink. You then place your cellophane on top of the entire canvas. Pick it up from all four corners and very, very evenly pull it to the center and off the canvas. If you pull it off from one side, you tend to pull that paint from, as you would see, left to right, and it moves the paint in that shape and it will not create a flower. Very important tip.
while that was settling I just added a stem with some very abstract leaves Moving on to the swipe. Now this swipe is super, super easy. It's like acrylic painting without a brush. I've already cut up my paper towels into the shape of a petal that I would like. The thinner your consistencies are, the more control you're going to have on the shape of your petals. Also, you can do this entire technique on a dry background, so you do not need a wet base paint. I did this in a very, very, very early video of mine, the Protea flower, and it actually made it quite easy, or even easier, to control the shape of the petals. So this is my idea of a tulip. I know it isn't quite how a tulip looks, but there was actually a request in one of my previous videos from a subscriber, a very, very enthusiastic subscriber of mine for tulips, so I hope I did you proud. Your consistency again is very very specific too thick and the paint is going to stick to your balloon and you're not going to be able to mix it very comfortably on the canvas too thin and it's just going to make your paints go into mud so I tried to find a little bit of a balance here and you will see I think the consistency is still slightly too thick I could have taken it a little bit further but I'm actually really grateful that I did not scrape this one and try again because I tend to always perfect everything. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm actually really grateful that I landed up not fixing this. Yes, the petals need quite an imagination for you to see the flowers, but I actually really appreciate that it's more of an abstract painting than a perfected one. It also taught me to stop and step away, a tip that we all need to be reminded of. Don't always try and over compensate and fix something while it's still wet. Sometimes it's best to just leave it let it dry, and when you come back later, it actually looks really good. When you're painting flowers, what are you finding is the most difficult technique? I'm then gonna try and do whatever research I need to, to try and help you out. So let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget, if you are ever using a paintbrush, a skewer, a toothpick that you are dipping onto your canvas, like in this case with the stems, back into paint, back onto your canvas, Clean it off every single time so that you get that paint off of whatever you're dipping back into the paint so that you don't have muddiness and that it stays nice and neat. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day. Ciao for now. And what was the other one Now with the balloon technique, your consistency power. Now this is probably one of my favorite ones. Your consistency here. I see there's about...